Hey, Shalom. Y'all by Shimi Asar Brakatha. Okay, uh, double honors to the apostles of GMS. Honestly, brothers, will be pushing this truth in sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. Uh, I have to uh, start off by apologizing. I haven't had this chance to um, to do a, a review on this uh, 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 stand up comedy that you have here. And um, there's a particular uh, a point that I wanted to do because you, do, you don't do a review on a stand up comedy. That's just not a thing to do. But there's a statement where um trevor noah which is a you know he's he's a bit of more of a classic uh he's got more classical skills in terms of his comedy where with right now you got certain guys that go on stage and you know they they, they go into a, a, a an unintellectual rent whereas um back in the day uh, and just like how you have music right now back in the day you had it to where there was a more artistic nature to it there was more intellect to it that was applied to it well, the same thing is uh, with this individual. He's a bit more old school, old school, okay. So he's a bit more intellectual and he touches on particular topics, man. Okay, so I, you know, I would recommend that to anyone. But uh, with that aside, okay, uh, I'm gonna play this clip and then you're gonna realize why it's um uh, I've chosen to do a video on this because he, he touches on a very pertinent uh, topic that is near and dear to every brother that is in GMS. Okay, which is the name of Yahweh Hashem Al Shai? And we're gonna go through, through to some scriptures in a second, okay, to show you the importance of you, you, the name of Yahweh Hashem Al Shai. Okay, all right, and it's nothing, you know, no, no new, brand new scriptures, but you know, you gotta carry on bringing this information out because you got some idiots out there, okay, that that actually believe that you can call the most high any name, okay, which is like the most ridiculous thing because there's been instances by the same individuals that claim you can call the most high anything okay the the, the 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 men underneath them if you if you if you refer to that particular individual using a derogatory name they say no you got to use their name so why is it they hold their name this individual's name this mortal this mere mortal okay how comes his name is held at a higher esteem than the name of the lord Okay, and it all goes back to a thing of hate and Yahweh, Yahweh, the true spirit of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh. They hate the true spirit of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, because the true spirit of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh comes up against everything that they stand for. Okay, all right, because everything they stand for, the, the lust of the world, the lust of the flesh, okay, chasing money, okay, being an, you know, an authoritative position, okay, when, when the truth tells you, you're gonna be, you're gonna be humble when you come into this thing, man. They don't want to be humble. They want to be like gods, man. You see Nate walking through them, the crowds and all of that. You think that he was Moses himself, man. Okay? But see, when the Mosai comes back, guess what? He's going to elevate his name, okay? By destroying guys like that, 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 that uh, specifically guys that came up against his name, man. Okay? The scripture talks about how the Lord's going to have his name magnified in those days, man. Okay? One of those things that he's going to magnify his name by is delivering Israel. But he's not only going to deliver only all Israel. The scripture talk about in the book of Galatians 6 and 16, how the, the, there's an Israel of the Most High. And he's just some regular dudes out there, man. And them regular dudes just ain't going to make it, man. Because why? Because they're just regular dudes, man. Okay? If you're out there and you're in the vineyard and you got to get the best grapes to make the best wine, guess what? Them regular grapes ain't going to make it, man. They ain't going to make the cup. Okay, if you're putting uh, together a team, okay, of an all-star NBA team, well, guess what? <laughs> Certain geezers just ain't going to make the cut, man, okay? Some guys just ain't going to make the cut. You're going to take the special ones, okay, the ones that you've selected, predestined from the foundations of the earth, okay, to be the elect, and they was going to reverence the name, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Just like how you have any doctrine out there, any philosophy that is, that is not... Whether it's associated to the scriptures or not associated to the scriptures, when they're dealing with a with a with a particular religion, okay, with a particular doctrine, with a particular philosophy, they always reference what name does it come under, and there's no difference when it comes to this truth. In fact, it should be even more so because why? Because you got lies out there. Therefore, what name does this truth, this banner of truth, come under, man? That's why the name was so important. What banner does this power come in? What 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 name does this power come in? What 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 name do we reverence for all of these great works that are happening within the face of the earth? That's why the name is such an important thing because you attribute those acts, those those things, okay, that are, that's being done, has been done, okay, those acts to a name, to a standard, and these these niggas, man, okay, these dudes, okay, don't hold up to any standard.
That's why you got into where they got all kind of wild, crazy things happening within 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 them different camps, man. Not order, okay? Just straight up craziness out there because why? Because they don't hold to any standard, man. And the the, the, the best standard, the, the the ultimate standard is the standard set by how about Shimi how shy and that you have to reverence his name. And if you don't reverence his name, guess what? You was gonna be destroyed, man. Okay, so I'm gonna play this clip. Uh, um, obviously, you know, I posted it on my channel. Okay, uh, you can you know you can watch the clip for yourself. Um, I'm gonna play it, and then uh, uh, I'm gonna get into the scriptures. Okay, so I was really uh, I should have really uh, I put this um uh, this particular clip uh, uh, with the video, but at the time I uploaded it, I'd already done a few videos that day uh, or, or a couple of days before to it. So I said, you know, I'll I'll, I'll postpone it uh, to us uh, to when I uh, um. Uh, I want to do another video, okay? So without much further ado, I'm gonna press play now. There's only one God, and His name is God, and you two shall worship Him. You want me to worship a God, but you don't want to tell me His name? Right, and then that's 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 that's. The, I mean, you're telling me you could these dudes, these geezers, these individuals within these camps will actually watch this, and they won't put two and two together, okay? All right, that their very leaders is telling them to do that the same thing that they're laughing about. Okay, this this shit is ridiculous, man. Okay, the, the, this is absolutely ridiculous, man. And the Maasai is gonna re he's gonna reset all of these guys. He's gonna he's gonna he's gonna, he's gonna have it to where these guys are gonna get destroyed and get reset, and they are gonna come in there right, man. Okay, because they're actually in a state of delusion right now, man. Okay, they're in a state of hey, the scripture talks about how they stagger, all right, uh, 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 as though with strong drink, okay. They stagger as though with strong drink, but they haven't. No one ain't giving them these dudes drinks. They they they're drunken off the philosophies of this world, man. Okay, they're drunken off of 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 Esau's uh, of Babylon juice, man. They're drunk off of that, man. Okay, so I'm, I'm gonna play that again. <laughs> okay, all right. So uh, let me get into the scriptures without much further ado. Okay, so you know when you watch the skit, uh, um, I believe the comedy. The comedy is called uh, 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 is by Trevor Noah. Okay, it's called after the um, uh, 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 what's it called again? Uh, 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 Afraid of the dark. Okay, um, I haven't watched all of it. I watched a bit of it. Uh, um, um, uh, it's, it, it seemed pretty good. You know, if you wanna just chill out, you know, you've done the work or whatever, whatever. Uh, 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 you know, you, you get some free time. You know, you with your girl, whatever, whatever. Then that's, you know, he does, he, he does it. Like I said before, he does some thought-provoking things to the end of a hey, of this video. Okay, so he's, you know, he's and and <laughs> here's the thing. He's got a, he's got he's got a white daddy, man. So what? He's a poll. He's a question I posed to certain geezers out there. So with his with this guy's white daddy, okay, and once you after you watch this comedy and you laughed all your ass off, right? Here's the question I'm gonna pose to you guys. Is is, is 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 we to you non GMS members because the guys in GMS is gonna get it right obviously but to you non GMS members is this individual an Israelite okay after you done watched it and laughed and laughed okay all right is this individual an Israelite okay so I'm gonna leave that no, I'm gonna pose that out there to you non IUIC non um non GMS members okay so let's get get into the scripture so I'm gonna I'm gonna start from the book of Luke I believe it's 19th chapter. Okay, uh, uh, um, uh, was it uh, those mine that would not reign that those mine which would not that I should reign over them, bring them hither and slay them before me? Okay, that's a good scripture as uh, pertaining to these individuals, man. Okay, so, um, okay, so this is Luke 9 and 27 says, But those mine which would not that I should reign over them, and, and, and when someone reigns over that over you, you reverence their name. Okay, there's just no two ways about it. Okay, that's king whatever whatever. That's king whatever whatever. Okay, oh you know uh, get your shit together, king whatever whatever is coming. Okay, and you, you and you say the name, man. Okay, but the scripture saying here those that those mine and it says mine because why? Because ultimately everything belongs unto the Lord. But more specifically, you Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans. Okay, so they the scripture telling you that there was gonna be certain geezers uh, amidst uh, 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 the flock. Okay, that was that was gonna bark up against the orders of of Yahweh Shimei Shai. 
Okay, so it says, but those men which were not that I should reign over them, over, over them, bring them hither and slay them before me. Okay, so that's what's going to happen to a lot of these guys. Okay, so uh, 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 now we're just going to do a, 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 a name uh, off such. Okay, I know certain scriptures that's going to pop up up in there. Okay, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. That's a good scripture. Okay, just just in case you guys. I, 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 I forgot, okay, the importance of the name of the Lord. So, uh, just to uh, um, uh, um, reiterate those particular points, okay. So, we'll start off with um, okay, I want to go down to um, okay, this is just an instruction here. The scriptures talk about how the precepts are laws, okay, so it says. To declare the name of the Lord in Zion and his praises in Jerusalem. Okay. Praise ye the Lord. All right. All ye servants. This is Psalms 113 and 1. All ye servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. <laughs> God damn. Okay. Uh, let's move on to the next set of scriptures. I mean, you can do this for yourself. Okay. I'm going to just, you know, pick up a, 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 a few ones. Okay. Uh, uh, just to uh, 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 fully fully uh nailed down the point okay of which the point has already been nailed down but because i saw that i thought you know let me do a video on it bring out a few scriptures and so on and so forth and uh you know call it call it call it call it quits so there's another one in psalms let me let me search it out okay because i like that particular one because it goes to show you that uh um i'm gonna I'm go to psalms okay and then i'm gonna go to uh, uh proverbs the first chapter around about the 26th verse as well so if i if i put in uh a strong tower and they should bring up the priest about what okay uh, um, so strong okay and then tower and I should bring up the priest about what in, in in the book of Psalms I believe it is in okay so bear with me you know how we do these videos rough and all that okay um, it says the name this is Proverbs 18 and 10 it says the name of the Lord is a strong tower <laughs> okay let me read that again because I'll be too excited. So he says, "The name of the Lord is a strong tower, and the right, the right, the righteous runneth into it and is safe." So that makes you the wicked, okay? That just makes you the wicked. If you're if you're saying, "Oh, the name of the Lord ain't important," then we know. See, see, see. The thing about the times we're living in right now, okay? The times we're living in right now is beautiful times, it's scary times because we're about to get into the time of Jacob's trouble. Okay, we don't know. I don't, look, I, we don't know what the Most High is going to bring upon His people, what, what He's going to classify as the hour of temptation. Okay, we can, we can, we can, we can make deductions by way of what Esau's going to bring upon this place in terms of his uh, uh, trying to him trying to implement martial law and so on and so forth. But you know, you're talking about a World War Three that's going to be fought with nuclear weapons, and they say after this war. <laughs> the next war after that, World War Four, will be will be fought by sticks and stones. Okay, I mean to say there's gonna be so much destruction out here, it's gonna be like a reset. Then damn, damn, man, we don't know. You know, look, it, it kind of makes you, you know, kind of makes you sick to your stomach when you see that. And that's what that's what that's what Edison said. War is me. War is me. Because he saw all of that. Okay, but ultimately the more side said, look, man, <laughs> gird yourself up, man, gird up, gird up thy loins, man. Okay. All right. So let me read that again. So it says the name. The, so so I was I was making a point. So the times we're living in right now, you're seeing it to where the more side, okay, is clearly separating, okay, the righteous from the wicked, okay, the tares, okay, from the wheat, okay. So you got to think of uh, 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 of 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 not only heathens and Miss Jake and so on and so forth, okay, but you also got a thing of what you also got a thing of of wicked or regular Israelites. And the elect, the elect is being visibly separated from the rest of the people out there. Okay, you can clearly see them because they could go into the scriptures and navigate in a fashion just, just nobody on the face of the earth. Can, not because we're great or anything like that, but because the spirit, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahshua, is going to say within the book of Proverbs, is going to sup with them because why? Because they were when they were reproved, they took on the reproval, man. Okay. They took on the reproval and therefore what? They, 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 they took heed to the word of the Lord and said, Lord said, well, I'm, I'm going to make known my words unto you, man. So these dark saying within the scriptures, well, hey, when you get when you get rebuked, 
and you take the rebuke, but guess what? The most I open. And that goes to show you, that goes to show me something right there. That goes to show me something right there. It's just as I'm saying that, okay? All right? So you have a certain situation at the camp, okay? Brothers get on your ass. Say, brother, you ain't supposed to be doing that, okay? And you say, yeah, yeah, cool, cool. Can't, can't. Right? You move about your business, right? But in the back of your mind, you still got that gripe. You still got that, you know? You still got that, that, that thing in your mind saying, look, I'm right about this situation. But you ain't really, you know? Well, the scripture says, turn you at my reproof, and I will, I will, bore, but I will, I will, I will, I will um, pour out my understanding onto you. So you got certain guys out there that got rebuked for certain things that they did, okay? They didn't turn to reproof for the Lord because they thought, because it just it was because it was a man. And look, I've I fallen victim to the same thing myself. I ain't perfect, okay? But you got certain geezers out there that have done that. They didn't turn to reproof for the Lord because it was coming from what? Coming from a man, okay? Coming from someone that's quote-unquote rough. Or whatever, whatever, okay? Someone they thought was just a, a, a mortal or whatever, whatever. But really, that was a, a vessel of the most high. And guess what? They didn't get deep on the scriptures because they didn't turn at the reproof of the Lord, man. They didn't turn at the reproof of the Lord. And therefore, the Lord didn't pour out that spirit of understanding. Now, they might linger in the camp for a year, two years, three years, whatever, whatever. And y'all about to see me outside. Rutters, that ain't me. I, I, I pray I enjoy until the end, okay? But you might get them guys who linger on for a little while. But guess what? Ultimately, them geezers gonna fall out, man. Because why? Because the Lord didn't pour out that spirit onto them. Because why? Because they didn't return it to repeat for the most high. Okay? And that's the same thing that goes for these IUIC cats and these different geezers that say you can call the name the name of the Lord anything. The Lord didn't pour out this, this his spirit onto them because why? Because they didn't turn it to reproof for the Lord. And we'll get that scripture in a second. I keep quoting it. I'm gonna get it. Proverbs the first chapter, okay? Lord keep the Lord. The Lord didn't pour out that spirit. You can see it, cause they're dead as dead, dead as uh, dog shit, as dog dude, man. Okay, keep it more PC. They're as dead as dog dude, man. Okay, they're about as, as as spiritual as a matchstick. Okay, them dudes just ain't got the juice. Okay, and you can hey, you can, I, I was at the camp the other day and uh, uh, in the you know by something he went into. He said, look, them guys out there, my name. You know, they told me this, that, and the third, and, you know, you know, pretty much they're saying, you know, he got dismissed, but whatever, whatever, because them guys ain't dealing in the spirit, man. Okay, so let me read this scripture again in the book of Proverbs, the 18th chapter on the 10th verse. It says, the name of the Lord is a strong tower, okay, and the righteous, the righteous, okay, the righteous runneth into it and is safe. Okay, so for you uh, 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 individuals out there, they don't, they don't, they don't uh, um, uh, run, you know, they, they don't reverence the name of the Lord, but clearly tell you the wicked, just by simple mathematics. Okay, so I'm gonna pull out one more scripture. Uh, um, um, I could have pulled out a, a few more, but the Spirit had it had it to where it went this way. So I want to go into the Book of Proverbs, the first chapter. Okay, and I'm gonna start around about the 28th first. Okay, so Proverbs 1 and 20. All right, so this is, um, um, right, 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 let's start, let's start the 20th verse. It says, Wisdom crieth without, she uttereth her voice in the streets. She crieth in the chief, this is one of my favorite scriptures, man. Okay, she crieth in the chief places of concourse, in the openings of the gates. And, 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 and I remember the first time I seen this scripture, I heard this scripture, man. Okay, it was like a, a, a the brothers out there in Dallas many many years ago. They was getting they put out this scripture, man, <laughs> and we're all in one unison. They they, they said it. The most I will laugh your calamity. I'll mock when your fear coming for the center. So if them brothers remember that video, they remember it. But that's another story for another day. So it says that um, wisdom crieth without. She uttereth her voice in the streets. She crieth in the chief places of concourse and openings of the gates in the city, saying. How long, ye simple ones, will you love simplicity? Because it's a very simple, it's a very simple solution to say what you can call the name, Lord, the name, or anything. Because what does that allow you to do? That allows you not to study and 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 get into the scriptures so you can decipher what the name of the Lord is. Okay, it's a very lazy, very uh, simplified uh, way of of answering uh, uh, something. Okay. So it says on the scorners, the light in their scorning. And that's what you got out here. You got a lot of scoffers and scorners, okay, hating fools that hate knowledge, man. Okay, it says, turn you at my reproof, and behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. Okay, turn at you, turn at my reproof. And say, brother, say, look, yeah, you gotta you are going off. Okay, you're gonna reverence the name of Yahweh Shimia. Jesus like, nah, I ain't with that. 
I ain't, I ain't, you know, nah, nah, I ain't, you can call the name of the Lord anything. Well, guess what? The Lord ain't going to pour out that spirit on you, man. He ain't going to make his words known on you. Okay, he says, because I called and you refused, and I stretched out my hand, and no man regarded, but you have not at all of my counsel, counsel, okay, and would none of my reproof, I will also laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh, okay? All right, when your fear cometh as a desolation and destruction and cometh as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish cometh upon you, then shall they call upon me. Then you're going to call on the name of the Lord. That's why I love this scripture, man. Shit. Because it, but I mean, it goes to show you that the, the way the Lord deals, man, he he, he make he creates. He, it's like it, it's like he he creates the pitfall for you. He he gives you the the the, the uh, uh, cerebral uh, 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 instructions to do it. Like we're all we're all programs. There ain't no free will out here, okay? And then he'll make it to where the individual loves actually scoffing, like a scoffer enjoys scoffing, like how we enjoy getting into the prophecies and all of that. A scoffer is fully satisfied, but doing them things, man, because that fulfills his purpose, man. But in so doing, okay, in so doing, the scripture says here that what that they're gonna remember that name in that day, and they're gonna do what they're gonna call upon it. But the scripture says, but I will not answer. All right, they shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. Okay. So uh, uh, pretty much with the, you know, hopefully that, 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 that's the point hit home. Okay. Uh, um, hopefully that was a verification. Okay. All praises unto Yahabar Shim Yahashai. Double honesty, apostles of GMS. Honesty, brothers, will be pushing this truth and sincerity. And Yahabar Shim Yahashai, I'll see you on the next one. Shalom.